All right, Killer Clan, welcome to Northeast Maryland. I'm at Steak in Maine, and I'm here to do the uh, Great Steak Challenge. I've got uh, Andrew Poole with me and uh, Molly Schuyler. Now, Molly Schuyler obviously has the record at uh, 3 minutes and 17 seconds, and uh, second place up there is 12 minutes by Bob Shout. This challenge has been on my bucket list for like six years, ever since I started competitive eating. So uh, let's get into the steak. It's going to be delicious. A little bit of casual, a little bit of mixture, not quite as fast, but not quite slow either. Let's do it. All right, so the Great Steak Challenge, what we got here is uh, your veal chop. You don't have to eat the bone, get as clean as you can. We have the two Delmonico steaks, which adds up to 26 ounces. We have your New York strip, your flat iron steak on the bottom, and your filet mignon on the top. Um, when it comes to eating this, cha this challenge, people have told me that they get fatigue in the jaw and stuff like that. So your most, most tender steaks, maybe your New York strip and your filet mignon, if you want to save that to last if you're worried about it. Um, other than that, you guys chose sides. You chose eight ounces of french fries and eight ounces of cream corn. Killer Clan, so uh, Steak and Maine brought out the uh, Monster Steak Challenge here to us. I went for some fries. Um, I know that's uncommon, but I'm trying to get outside my comfort zone and eat some fries and cream corn because it's delicious. And uh, Tony already explained all the steaks we got here, so we're gonna get this. We're gonna go ahead and uh, wind up the counter and we're gonna go ahead and get into this thing. All right. Quick and easy. Three, two, one, Quick and, and go. And go. Start with the fries. I'm always got one of my ketchup. She already stuck her finger in it. Get around the way before they get full. I got a little steak. Perfect. Yeah, I think that You know, I never had veal. I was 39 years old, and in the last two months, I've had veal twice. What do you think of veal? It's good. Perfect. We, we charge five. Our, it's 
Yeah. Oh, no, for brunch. We do We did a By the way, Molly was done by now, just to give you guys a little reference of <laughs> the challenge here. I'm a gentleman. Huh? I'm a gentleman. Did you say she's a new gentleman? That's how I know you. It's a good thing. I always see like the beginning and the end. Get out of water, please. <coughs> cream corn. Oh, well, he can get on it. What is it, cold? Yeah, you'll love it. I should have done 20 pounds of cream corn. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pool P U H L. I answer for you. You have a meat full mouth. P U H L. He had a mouth full of meat. Still do. Yeah, that's good. Filet magnet. <laughs> you say that you have to pick down on your water. Filet magnet. This is a diet heavy on too. It's a high class. I'm trying to keep the calories down. I saw that. I think it was like mean girls or something. I'm trying to keep the uh, cow calories down. Flavor too, because there's a lot of fat on it. Left your pool. All of these steaks are good too. Aaron, someone loves it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about that last one. That was a good one. Tell me about the lady with the very specific time frames. <laughs> Have a good one. Everything is really good. Kind of just enjoying some steak. Probably went rare, probably under five, probably.
you like the steaks? It's good. Oh, Brian Creek's down. It's much better than the last big challenge I ate. Hey, what's, did you do the Texas Big Texas? I did. I know you did. Yeah. Isn't that the challenge? It's not scary. There's like, there's a Rump roast. And they butter. Rump roast. No, I call it rump roast. Nobody would eat it. They call it cow's ass. the uh, great steak challenge here at uh, Steak in Maine. <laughs> Delicious compliments to Tony and his chefs back there. Some good steak. I mean, uh, I could definitely sit there and enjoy that till I couldn't eat. Remember, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Killer Kennedy. And uh, if you're ever in Northeast Maryland, make sure you stop in here and have yourself a steak. Now, I don't, I don't know if I'd recommend eating all of this in one shot. Maybe make a couple trips and uh, enjoy it. Bring your family. You're not going to be sorry. Take it easy.